Hello everyone, um, it's Kay and Rachel, I've got Rachel with me yeah, today. I can finally be allowed on camera. <laughs> She's not usually allowed. No, because I'm pretty terrible at filming on my own. So. <laughs> so we're here today because it is our birthday. Woo! Woo we're a year old yeah. and we thought it would be nice to have a little chat about what's happened over the year. Our highs, our lows, yeah. what we've got coming up, I don't know, everything. Just a little, I guess, yeah. a, a kind of review review of what's happened and yeah that's it I guess yeah so shall I ask you questions go on then yeah. I'll ask you questions yeah I'm gonna be the interviewer yeah I'm gonna be like well, hopefully I'll and... remember the answers <laughs> okay so this time a year ago we were sitting at home we weren't together we had decided we were gonna go out for lunch to treat ourselves yeah and after sort of six months of kind of intense yeah, website building work. and doing yeah. all sorts of stuff behind the yeah. scenes. And then the day it launched, everything went mental. The site went, it was just yeah. like, Bruh! and yeah. so Rachel and I rang each other and said, actually, I don't think we can yeah. go for There's lunch. There's no time for lunch. <laughs> we need to be by our yeah. computers. That's pretty much how it's been since then, actually, as well. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. every time there's, there's no time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So at that time we were working like three or four days a week on our day jobs and just doing the forward line one or two days which was sort of yeah. stupid actually yeah. in hindsight because it took so much time. Yeah. So the first day went it was like everyone was so kind and helped us yeah. out and there was lots of people being really sort of, well everyone helped didn't they? Yeah yeah and, and the website got really put through its paces which highlighted a few things that had yeah. come up. Before. Yeah there were loads of things that went wrong. Yeah. And, and that's the thing, work, right? Yeah. With, yeah. And that's the thing with a new company, you never know what's going to work and what yeah. doesn't. And yeah, we had some pretty stressful first few days. And yeah. thank you everyone who stuck with us because yeah. it was it was chaos. Yeah. It was like but it, on on the front it looked okay, but behind it was quite bonkers. Yeah. Um, what do you think over the year? Because it's been a year now. What's yeah. your highlight of the year? Oh, I don't know. I think. I mean, when it, I suppose those first few weeks when so many people were signing up, that was amazing. Yeah. Because you were just like, oh, everybody's been waiting for this. Yeah. And, you know, and they're being really supportive yeah. and they're kind of joining the community. I think that was amazing. But then, obviously, the kind of more the hard work looks kind of started with yeah. it. And the yeah. other highlights I've had, like uh, winning the um, Money Mix. Handmade Award yeah, that for was cool. um, supporting independent businesses, well yeah. in our case um, independent pattern companies, mm. that was a pretty good highlight of the year because mm. it really felt like oh, this, we put all this like kind of hard work in and everybody's kind of come together and yeah. you know and then we've been recognised in that way is really nice. You were massively shocked. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I didn't expect that. You were me. like, did they just say our names? <laughs> is that going to go up? <laughs> I think my highlight was actually kind of a smaller thing. Just before, well, not small to me, but before Christmas, we got a tag on Instagram from a group of about eight people who had met up. Oh yeah. And gone shopping, yeah. and they'd met on the fold line and all in the forum. In the forum, yeah. and they'd yeah. organised the meet up in the fold line, and then met up in real life. And I was yeah. like, that is, that is pretty cool. Yeah. That the thing that people can actually meet each other, they all love sewing like we do. Yeah. And then actually make friends and meet in real life is pretty amazing. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that was probably my highlight, yeah. a smaller thing, but yeah, nice. Yeah, and probably the sewing weekends as well. Yeah, was a real highlight of the year, like having a lot of people together. Yeah, a weekend of sewing, and it was so nice. Yeah, just to meet with other people who are really into it, and yeah, and people that you know we'd seen online that you know mm. members on the fold line, you know that kind of comment you know on Instagram and yeah. chat with, that actually getting to see people in real life yeah. was really nice. Um, yeah, because otherwise we're just these people behind the screens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if we do the high, we have to do the low. Yeah. What low point? Low point. Probably that occasion when you went away on holiday for the weekend and I broke the website and this thing you couldn't get on it. Too. <laughs> so there was some update that had to be done in the back office and I did it and they didn't think there would be a problem and then yeah. literally, do you remember, the whole thing went down and yeah. they rang you and I was like, I've broken the website. It was pretty funny. It was yeah. on Halloween. Yes, yeah, it was. And it was over the weekend so nothing could be done until Monday mm. when uh, our developers we're back at work. No, that was quite a low point for me. I got really stressed by yeah. that. I think all low points for us come with website building yeah. and technology yeah. because we don't. Well, 
We, we can't build websites ourselves, no. so it's all a bit of a mystery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I think that's probably. Yeah, there's been a few of those occasions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only one. No. Basically, every time we have something put yeah. new on the website, it turns into a complete disaster, and Rachel and I want to pull our hair out. Yeah. And drink gin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's probably. Yeah. yeah. That's that's a good low point. Yeah. Um. So what has happened? So this year, it's been a kind of a, a roller coaster because we didn't ever expect for it to be as popular as it has okay. been and not at all. And I know people say to us, don't they, they're like, oh well I don't know why you're surprised because like we've been calling out for something like this for ages. But you still yeah. don't ever kind of think no. that we were so yeah. it will happen. We thought we thought people would like it but we just didn't think it would be as popular as it has been, yeah. I think. And yeah. And what's been so nice is that everyone sort of helped us change things and things that aren't right people tell us and yeah. if someone wants a new feature on the site someone will email and say we want this and yeah. we do well. Yeah and if there's like a pattern company that we haven't yeah. we don't know about yeah. they'll yeah, email yeah. and say we'd love yeah. to have these patterns on the site you know and that's really great because we've discovered loads that we didn't know about. Yeah. So loads all over the world. Yeah. So From everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what else there is we've got to say. Yeah. I guess we should do some thank yous. Yes. Yeah. Because there's lots of things that have happened that without other people we wouldn't have yeah. even got to yeah. where we are. Particularly now. at the start when we had um, we had lots of help from a few businesses that helped kind of spread the word. They sent out postcards and all their parcels, which some of you probably yeah. got, to sort of, you know, tell everybody that the folder yeah. was launching, that was great. And then yeah. all the companies that have advertised with us, which is paid for the upkeep of the website and yeah. been able to add new features so on. So all the adverts, they're yeah. there to keep the website functioning yeah. because every month we have to get people to go in and like fix bugs and yeah. mend things. Yeah, so and all kind of storing all the images, all that sort of boring stuff that is so quite expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. Cool. But no, it's, it's great. We've had loads of support from, um, from yeah. businesses on that front, you know, particularly when they didn't really know us. You know, yeah, and all the um, bloggers as well, we yeah. were so surprised at how willing they were to sort of spread the word because yeah. we wouldn't have, I mean without everyone saying like talking about it it just wouldn't have no we been. had an amazing launch party as well where loads of people came we we were there where we were like is anybody going to turn up and then literally it was just like a ram full of people it was that was amazing yeah and then yeah. there were two people left right at the end yeah quite tired <laughs> no I was actually thinking yeah. about so Annie oh, yeah Annie from the village haberdashery and yeah. Anna from the eternal maker yeah. were um uh, the last men standing at yeah. our party. We had to push them out the front door yeah. and they were going back to the knitting and stitching yeah. show the next day so I'm sure they had slightly sore heads. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But no, um, yeah. yeah. And obviously to our friends as well and family who have barely seen us for the last year. Yeah. Uh, and they've also done various things to help us out, including adding patterns on <laughs> Yeah, so Rachel's mum mum has become our first official employee. Yeah, she yeah. had some patterns for us. Yeah. Which is really nice. Yeah, because yeah. we yeah, because we really struggled to have time to do that now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and also the magazines that we've worked with as well. Yeah. Um, we've been writing lots of features in all different yeah. magazines, and they've been really great at helping to like spread the word when we've got new website features and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's been really good. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think that's everything. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, well, we should really be thanking everyone who's on the site because they're yeah. they're the people who keep it going. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't exist. Yeah. If you didn't want it. And actually, while we're here and we're talking, yeah. If there's any blog ideas or things that you like, blog, especially blog yeah. things that you think might be interesting, put a comment down below because we're always open to new yeah, new exactly. ideas. New ideas. Yeah. And actually, any features for the sites you've got ideas for, if you if it's possible and doesn't cost yeah. a million yeah, pounds yeah. we'll definitely try and add it in yeah because we'd love to do that yeah oh and one thing another thing sorry just now getting really disjointed right? made a list. <laughs> i should have made a list um we've said quite a lot that we're going to try and do an app yeah and <clears throat> we are still looking into it but at the moment the cheapest we can find it is twenty five thousand yeah. pounds yeah and yeah, again, just the sort of advertising covers the cost of the website. There isn't really £25,000 that's going to appear from nowhere anytime soon. Unless I sold, I sold like a sibling. Yeah, I was, yeah, I think I'd, I'd quite sell my sister. 
Um, so yeah, so although it's definitely something we really yeah. want to do, and you know, we will get there, it's it's probably not going to happen in the next year, I don't think. No, I don't think so. Um, I think we kind of need to grow a bit more. Unless we go on to Dragon's Den. Yeah. Oh, maybe we should do that. No, it would be crap. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so crap, and I'd be really scared. Yeah, that's true. I'd have to do this speaking. You'd have to do this speaking. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. so now we're going to get on to the Q&As. Yep. And we're going to wear our party hats while we do it. She's making me wear a party hat. This is the only time you'll ever see me in a party hat. Well, you have a hangover, so it's your own fault, <laughs> Rachel. She was out till 3 o'clock <gasps> last night. That's such a lie. Not. You were. <laughs> right. Q&A and party hats. <laughs> Being really professional, and I've got cards, and we're going to do our Q and A, and lots of yeah. people sending questions. So we picked a selection, and yeah, shall I just get going? Yeah, let's okay. Get going. So Claire has asked, are we going to do any more sewing events? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, the sewing weekend was really, really popular, um, and unfortunately, lots of people didn't get tickets. So um, we're definitely going to do another yeah. one, and we think everybody really enjoyed themselves. Yeah. We definitely did. So. We just have to persuade Charlotte to come and do it with us. Yeah. So we're, we're going to sober on this weekend, so please Charlotte, yeah. will you do it again with us? Because she is super organised. Yeah. Even more than Rachel. Yes, I would <laughs> say that actually, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of spreadsheet making going on. Okay. And organising that. So the next question is, um, so Esther has asked, if you are putting jersey through an overlocker on a curve, how do you stop it stretching? Yeah, so um, try and go as slowly as you can, which is quite difficult than at the overlock because you haven't got that kind yeah. of speed control. But also make sure that you're kind of holding the fabric up um, so that it's not there's not the weight of the fabric pulling it down, which will stretch it when it goes around the corner. And then if anything, kind of encourage it by yeah, we're not push it through, yeah, yeah. Sort of shove it, it, but, <laughs> but push it so that at no point is the machine yeah. actually pulling yeah. the fabric through. Um, and that should definitely reduce the, you know, mm. kind of stretching that you mm. do get on curves with jersey. Um, oh, this is... When are we going to get all the patterns up at the site <laughs> from Sarah? 2050. No. Um, so, so, we've got over 4,000 on there now. Yeah. Um, and we're definitely adding them faster than they're being released. Yeah. Which is always a, yeah. a bonus. But the problem is, is... We, well, we decided the best way to do it for us was to do it systematically, so we started with McCall, so yeah. we're nearly, nearly there, and then we're going to move on to Simplicity and New Look and Birda, yeah. which is another huge beast, because there are, I mean, thousands. Yeah, there, thousands, yeah, thousands, thousands. Of so we're adding 50 patterns every week. Um, Plus any kind of new ones from yeah. Indie. Um, yeah. Indie colors. There's over, is it over 130 designers on the really? database now? Yeah. So I should know that, but I there don't. is a spreadsheet for that, <laughs> which I haven't looked at. Uh, and yeah, so that's so yeah. So I think I kind of bear with us. We're yeah, getting there. I think within another year, definitely, <laughs> definitely we'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what are our plans for next year, from Claire? Oh, this is a big one. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we can't tell you too much about because they're sort of in the pipework. We yeah. want to keep them a surprise. One thing I would say that. If you've ever wanted to design your own sewing pattern, keep your eyes peeled in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. That's all very exciting. exciting. Yeah. And then the other thing is, actually Rachel is modelling. Yeah. Um, we've got a pattern in Simply Sewing Magazine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which will be out in a week or so, I think. Yeah. Beginning yeah. of October. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we've designed it together. Um, yeah. And uh, it's, our first, it's our first pattern yeah. we did together. Yeah. But it went alright. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it was because we have quite different tastes. Yeah. So actually, I was surprised um, how easy it was actually yeah. for us to find something that we both like and wanted to design. Yeah. So, yeah, so you've got, uh, you've got kind of like shorter sleeves with cuffs. And you have a fake kind of button placket down the front. Wait, I'm going to move your hair out of the way because you can't see yeah. it. Um, and then there's a collar, so there's no facings because everything's all neatly tucked away inside mm. the collar. Uh, visible zip at the back, and then you can't really see it, but there are some pleats here. It's a slight tulip sort of shape, would you say? Quite, it's quite relaxed. Yeah, and quite yeah. relaxed fit. Relaxed fit around the waist. Yeah. Um, 70s yeah. sort of feel, I guess. Yeah. If we were going to. Yeah. We were going to give it a name. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so hopefully you guys like that. 
Okay, the last one is from the new craft house and they've asked what is our dream sewing project? Ooh, you go first. Um, so I think mine is definitely to make a coat because that's something I haven't done yet. Uh, there's a couple that I really like by name for clothing. Um, and they've got a trench coat, I think it's the, is it the Isler trench coat? Yeah, um, oh, that's gorgeous, yeah. You and it's that. like full length, you know, all the buttons, all the plackets, all the bits going on. Um, and that's I think, yeah, and I think that would be probably the biggest thing, yeah. challenge. other than making like a wedding dress, which I have no need to. Um, I think that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my probably my biggest thing challenge, and that's what I'd like to do next year is, you know, tackle the coats. Yeah. I think mine would be a quilt actually. I don't think I think I want something that there's no fitting issues that I can just plug away with slowly. I quite yeah. like the idea of having something that lasts almost a year and you're doing a bit each month and it's not well once I start making something I want to finish it as quickly yeah. as possible because I, I couldn't wear that's why it. I couldn't do it every year because I just want it done like today. No, I think it'd be really nice just slowly and gently to plod along. Yeah. Okay, well, that, that is it. Yep, there we go. So, happy birthday to us. Yes. Thanks for watching our video. Uh, yeah. and, and we'll be back. Thanks uh, for all your support yeah. over the last year, because it's been amazing, and, you know, the fold line has grown so much more than we could possibly have imagined. Yeah. Um, and we'll definitely be working a lot more on it, I think, in the next yeah. year. We're, I think we're kind of ready to, to take the leap. Yeah, so and Rachel and I are uh, still day jobs at the moment, so yeah. we're about to cut them down a little bit and hopefully give yeah. a bit more time to the fold line. Yeah, so, so. Yeah. But we'll be back next week with another video yeah. of something interesting. I don't know what it is, <laughs> yeah. but it will be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.